This is the division. You're Matthew Kershaw. I am, but I thought that we'd be watching the multiplication. Much better game. Yeah, I mean, I'm, you know, you know me. I like to decrease. You're the Mr. Positive around here with your increasing numbers. <laughs> Unless it's a negative number, then technically it gets small. Anyway, this is the division. I thought this was uh, New York, not Detroit. This is. I was going to try to. I was so close to pulling off a, a New York accent. You know, they really. I don't want to do it. Don't if I just said it, I wouldn't have climbed up. Now I'm too climbed up. I don't want to do it. <laughs> Clam chowder. Do you remember that D4 video we did? The uh, terrible Boston accents. Oh yeah. And it never got released because uh, my recording was fucked up because it was. Yeah, so th there's no, uh, there's no cat ladies or clam chowder jokes in the division. But we're inside someone's house. He has a pretty nice PC over there, or is that TV? I can't tell. No idea. But they're like, we're just in someone's house, stealing things, looting things. Look at this loot. Well, that's just it. This is like, oh man, some like virus, alien, whatever happened to the sea. I don't actually know the story. Everyone's just like dead, apparently. And you're like, well, I better go break into this like 24 year old studio apartment and, you know, loot, loot through his uh, cupboards. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna drink an actor mal when I'm in his fridge. Pull out some McVitties from the cupboard. Oh, this is New York. They don't have McVitties. Uh, pull out a Twinkie from the cupboard. Yep. And some soda from the fridge. Some diet do the only a diet Bud with do in it. Bud Light. That's all that Americans drink, isn't it? Yeah. Pretty much. Um, God, where was I going to go with this? All right, so uh, you're not going to see some massive firefights in this video. I, deci I deliberately decided not to. Uh, there's basically one story mission you can play in the beta. You could play in the beta, it's now closed. And I decided not to do that because that was all the footage I'd saw. So I wanted to give you a glimpse of what I was actually doing for several hours when I was playing this, which was a lot of me running through streets, uh, <laughs> going into people's houses and stealing things from fridges. It's so cool. I know that sounds really shit for an action game, but it's really cool. Is it though, or do you just like trick yourself to think it's cool? No, so this game uh, is a third person shooter, so it's instantly a 4 out of 5 on our scale, that's how that works. Yeah, but you love your first third person shooters. And it's a good one, and um, I didn't hate, you know, we expressed before, me and you, I don't know if we did this on recording, but we talked a bit about how, you know, you want to headshot somebody, you want them to go down. Uh, you don't want, you, I don't necessarily enjoy the Destiny situation of spamming big boss enemies with the yellow health bars. Big boss! But, uh, I enjoyed, uh, even the boss encounters that I had, I don't know, it was just fun to shoot the gun, so I guess I didn't think about it. And I, there's not so much, it's not all combat, that's really what I'm trying to stress with this, is I spent a lot of time exploring this city, and it, obviously, you know, most of the city was blocked off, you couldn't go outside, it would kill you. Uh, but, you know, there is other zones that I guess I didn't even get a good sense for how big it is, but I feel like if it is big enough, then you can have a real good, like, different kind of open world experience, not the super Ubisoft one. There is, like, stuff on the map, but it's handled a lot differently. You're not, um, you don't open your map and see a thousand chests buried around the city, you know? That's like, good. you might see them, you might see them ping up in a Skyrim like fashion when you get near on your mini map. Yeah, I, but I prefer that, although. You speaking about like it's not like normal Ubisoft jank. You were just scrolling through a menu at lists of your guns, and it had like random damage per seconds like bars, and they're all filled. Yeah. And it's like this is what this is a motherfucking RPG. In case you couldn't see that, is it though? Because it it, it seems like there's a lot of RPG elements in there, but I don't know. Yeah. So um, here here's the clothing customization. These are just cosmetics. Let me change my jacket. You're just, why are you in the voids changing your jacket here? Uh, look, she's a lady. She doesn't want to get changed in the middle of the street, even if everyone is dead. Yeah, there's nobody here. What happened to, like, the Ubisoft demo of, like, oh, man, Tango Foxtrot team are going through the police station, but then Zulu Bravo come in, and then there's a firefight between the two. So that's the, right, that's the Dark Zone. We'll talk a bit about that in a minute. Um, but you, you mentioning no other people, that's the one thing that bothers me. Now, I don't know if the game's built like this or it was... Or, you know, I'm just not understanding what it is. I did not see another player at all in the three hours, three and a half hours I spent with this game. Which is weird. Do you not think? <laughs> not once in the city did I see somebody else running around. So I don't know if it's you've got to be in the party with them to see them. Um, 
or it is specific zones because the dark zones are what you're talking about where you go in and you loot things and you can turn traitor and kill other players i know you can't kill other players in the uh in the normal open world only in these dark zones but yeah i don't know i didn't see a single other person in the world which is odd i thought it'd be like destiny where you just have other players running around doing their thing so did i but to be fair you don't see a lot of people in destiny either and that's not a recent thing, but you know, you'd generally maybe see two or three people near you. But just the way they locked people in was such that a lot of the time you are just alone. Occasionally people come together, you know, for the open... Um, they have those missions, you know, where like a meteor will fall and you've got to defend it for so long. Yeah. Uh, you would see people then, but you would rarely see them just running around, or I rarely saw them just running around. And I didn't see anyone in this, so I don't know. Uh, that might just be me misunderstanding. It might be like single player until you match make. Matchmaking is interesting. I ran up on the first mission and I could either play it solo, where I hit A on solo. This is all in the open world as well, this isn't in a menu, like it is in Destiny. This is me running up to a street corner where there's something on the floor, and then I can either, the procedural, like a contextual menu comes up, you can either match me, can find people, you know, invite people from your friends list, or play it, and that was real cool, because the moment I hit play, the doors to this building I was going in opened, and the mission just started. It was like real neat. It wasn't, uh, you know, three loading screens and a flying ship above the earth. Yeah. So that was cool. Um, yeah, look at all these fucking cupboards. I'm just <laughs> opening this shit. I just got a trendy hiking jacket. See, that's like... I don't know. The, the division's weird to me that you're just like... There's so much stuff to loot and it's just like... Do they make any, like, improvements to your stats or is it all just cosmetic? Uh, so there's armor, there's weapons... And there's like, like this thing you can like you can upgrade your backpack, for example. So that changes <laughs> both visually and with stats. But then the customization, the blue stuff we were looking for before, the light blue stuff, is purely cosmetic. Um, that's your jacket and stuff. But I think armor does show beneath the jacket and above the bottom layer, or at least some of it does. I've definitely seen people change gloves and things. That's cool. I hate it when games like put armor over everything, and it's like. Okay, everyone's gonna look the same because they've all got the best armor at this point in the game. Yeah, this is the what that was the one glitch that I encountered in this game was me trying to click on something and occasionally walking backwards and forwards in front of it. Uh, no frame rate problems that I saw. This game re looks really nice. Um, uh, it, it looks really nice at night, which you're not gonna see here, I'm afraid. But I just want to, you know, the, just the detail. I was gonna um, say, there is a real variety. You're playing this in the Xbox One. I know that yeah. they use the dynamic resolution, like in uh, Halo. Halo, yeah. Oh, that's cool. I didn't I, know that. I don't know what frame rate this runs at, or what resolution it is to begin with. I know it's not 60 because I didn't get chills, and I always get spinal chills when it's 60. Uh, which is only part joking. Um, so I, I suspect it's 30, but I mean, I didn't see any dips, which, given Ubisoft's recent track record. It's have not been high. Have Ubisoft put out a game at 60 frames a second since the new consoles launched? I don't think so. Well, but I no, mean, like, all you the know. Assassin's Creed's were 30. Unity was like five. Yeah, it's worse than that, though, isn't it? I mean, look at the bugs. I mean, I didn't encounter any bugs aside from that uh, interacting with a box bug. And I think I've seen somebody fall through part of the roof. <laughs> but like, it's it's so not an Assassin's Creed situation. It actually feels good to play, which is nice. Which which of the Ubisoft's many development studios are actually making this? I don't know how many are involved, but I know that it's being headed by Massive, which are the people between, behind uh, the world's best strategy game ever. Well, they have a couple of different series, but the big one is Ground Control, which you'll recognize as our hit oh, yeah. articles on the website. Which somehow people love to flock to. From Spain, weirdly. Uh, but yeah, uh, Ubisoft, uh, Ubisoft Massive are the ones heading this. This is the Snowdrop engine, it's not the Assassin's Creed engine. Good. And by extension, it's not the Rainbow Six Siege engine, which really shows. Wait, which... Rain does Rainbow Six Siege use the same as Assassin's Creed? Uh, that was what they were talking about two years ago at E3, I assume it didn't change, yeah. That was what they were saying, they were like, well, we're taking this engine that was great for big open worlds and applying it to a small one so we can do more. You know, that's what they were saying about the destruction. Uh... And you saw how that turned out. I don't Do know, more. they might have changed the engine before they launched, but that was definitely what they were saying. You cannot say they did more when it comes to Rainbow Six Siege. Their words, not mine. They took away. Yeah, so we just got a, we just got a blue blue shotgun. You know how blue is always better than green? Is it? I thought blue was common and green was, like, uncommon. 
No, it's like grey is common. You don't want grey. Oh yeah, I've been... I was just playing Halo 5 actually. Grey is, yeah, grey is common, green is uncommon. Uh, blue will be rare. Blue, yeah, blue's rare, purple's ultra rare, yeah. And then like, the Halo 2 battle rifle is a tier of its own and that's yellow if I recall. No, there's, that's ultra, leg ultra legendary, I think. And there's a lot of stuff. So is there that. a legendary? Oh yeah, sorry. Legendary is yellow. I don't. I think after legendary, it becomes mythic, and I don't know if there are any mythic items in the game yet. Oh right, sorry. Uh, I know this is going to go in a different direction, but we should probably get back to the division because <laughs> I just remembered I haven't talked to you about the home base. You have a home base, right? Um, which you don't have in Destiny. It's easy to compare this game to Destiny because there's a lot of things. Like, if I had showed you that one main mission, you would have basically seen a really shit mission structure like Destiny. And that's where I get a little worried. But back at the home base, you, um, you've um, you got tech, security, and medical uh, levels. And you, by doing those specific types of missions out in the environment, you earn points which you can throw into those different areas. So I upgraded a medical wing, for example. I gave this woman a clinic because I just rescued a doctor. That was one of the main, that was the single main quest story. And then I gave her a medical wing, so there's like a little, like, I think it was a cutscene, or like maybe it just happened between scenes or something. But when I came back, there was like people on stretches and things. So I'm actually building up this base, and it feels really cool, you know, in the same way I build up like a, my Swoto base or something. I was going to say, when you come back, do your people salute you and say, hi boss? They are totally talking. It's like, that, that's the thing. It feels like a, a different take on maybe the same things I liked about uh, the Phantom Pain. There's the, like, I would say it's better than the Phantom Pain because it's like the environment's really detailed and it's not just like miles of oil rigs you can't do anything with. Yeah, and the Phantom Pain was just like, this is going to be unique for everybody. It's not, it's the exact same for everybody and it's kind of just boring to be there. I suspect this will be very similar for everybody. If I don't know if there's any customization, but... It, it's a really powerful progression system, I think. Um, obviously, we're going to get a taste of it, but that made me more excited. There's like three different types of perks and stuff, which were locked in the beta. But to me, that that sense of place is really what um, I'm looking forward to progressing mm. through. Two years ago, I hyped up that this was going to be game of the year, and you said no, and now we've switched roles. Do you actually think this could be like the game of the year? Right, I, I thought Destiny looked really nice in the beta, and it turned out to be good in some ways. If this game can provide a compelling experience, you know, longer than, say, Destiny's four hours originally was, five hours originally was, and actually has those progressions like the base, then I feel like, yeah, this could be one of the best games of the year. But we'll have to wait and see. It's out in March. I believe there's an open beta coming mid-February. So uh, check back for that.